Hi, this is Mr. Max with some call for mathematics. Right, so I have got some questions on sequences and series. This obviously can be used by learners doing ordinary level as well as higher level as well as the AS level. Right, so the first question is, um, it is as a geometric progression has a first term of 100 and sum to infinity is 2000. You are supposed to find the second term for three marks and part B is divided into three little sections. They are giving you a different progression. It says the third term is 90 and the fourth term is 80. You are supposed to, for part 1, Roman 1, find the first term and the common difference. Roman 2, quite interesting question this one. Find the value of m given that the sum of the first m terms is equal to the sum of the first m plus 1 terms. Sum of m should equal to sum of m plus 1 terms. As I'm saying it, you can perhaps even get an idea. S sub m is equal to S sub in bracket m plus 1. Then the third part says find the value of n, which is the number of, given that the sum of the first n terms is 0. So you're supposed to find the n value. Right, so pause the video, write down the questions, attempt to solve them, and then have a go and see what I have done. Right, so the very first one here you were told is an AP, a geometric progression, excuse me. So we also know the first term is 100, and the sum to infinity is 2000. I like to write down the information that I'm given. The formula for S of uh, sum to infinity is A1 all over 1 minus R. Good. So the objective here is you have got the 100 for the first term. So the R is actually what we're supposed to calculate first. And it becomes a simple equation where you solve for R. And you should get that R is nothing but 19 upon 20. Okay. So look at the steps clearly. Multiply throughout and then you get to the value of R. But this is not what we are requiring. We like the second term. So in order for us to find what the second term is, so let's just bring in the first term we know is 100. So the second term you just multiply it by that ratio. That gives you 95. The third term will give you 90.25 and so on and so on. So the required answer is 95. Here's another one. The it's an arithmetic progression, so I like to write down the stuff I'm given. Third term is 90, fifth term is 80. This is the general formula for the T sub N of a, a P. Good, so the third term will be written like this. A plus 3 minus 1 D equals to 90. And the fifth term will be written A plus 5 minus 1 D equals to 80. So you're going to essentially create two simultaneous equations or equations that you're going to solve simultaneously. Okay. Either way, you can name them, find one value, substitute the other. So if I cancel or eliminate A's, I get D to equal to negative 5. Then I take that D and I substitute it in either one of the equations. I did you the first equation. That gives me the value of A to be 100. So the first term is 100 and the common difference is negative 5. So I'm going to use that throughout as we go. Roman 2, same question. You are now supposed to find the value of m given that the sum of the first m terms is equal to the sum of the first m plus 1 term. So this is S sub n formula for an arithmetic progression. This is what we know. The first term is 100. The common difference is negative 5. This is the most important part. If you get this part correct, then you are on the right path. So where I have an n, I'm going to substitute it with an m, and so on. All right, so this gives you this rather long expression or equation here. You can simplify the left side, simplify the right side. But this is the important skill. Once you get to this part, you should definitely know what is next. All right, so manipulation and cleaning the stuff inside the bracket, 
step by step so you don't get confused. You can do the left side and then the right side, but then uh, make sure that everything is okay. Right, when I get to this part here, I've got m upon 2 is equal to some stuff upon 2, so I can actually cancel those 2s, right? Leaving me with this expression or this equation right here. And now what you need to do is you need to multiply out the brackets. And when you multiply out the brackets, you get 205m minus 5m squared. On the right-hand side, you get 200m minus 5m squared plus 200 minus 5m. Now, before I do anything, I like to see, is there not something that is the same, the same term on both sides of the equal sign? Like the minus 5m squared is some, the same. So, either way, they will cancel out each other, whether you take one to the left or one to the right. So, that leaves me with something that will be linear, okay? That means no square, no, no quadratic stuff there. So from here, you just collect like terms and you try to simplify. All right. Step by step, you should get that m is equal to 20. I hope that you got to the same answer. The third part says an arithmetic progression has a third term 90 and the fourth term is 80, so it's the same thing. So now we are supposed to find the value of n given that the sum of the first n terms is 0. S of n is equal to 0. So this formula equals to 0. And you know what is the first term, and you know what is the common difference. So you just go ahead then and substitute them right in there. Again, once you get to this part, that's the skill that's required. Then you clean up, and then you can obviously do different ways. I like to multiply throughout by 2, so I can clear the fraction and then I can multiply out or first clean the stuff inside the fraction and I multiply throughout by n. But what is nice here is that I know there is another method. You can just simply divide throughout by n, okay? Because it should only be one number, all right? Uh, either way, I took the route of the quadratic, okay? Quadratic equations, that means there are two solutions. I have to look at which solution is it that I'm going to reject. So 5n is equal to 0. This one. I'm going to reject because you can't have, uh, you know, n to be equal to zero because we're looking for the number of terms. That is zero. That the sum, if you add those terms together, starting from the first term, second term, and so on, then you get to zero. How many of those terms would it be? So it can't be zero, obviously. So it has to be then 41 terms. Right, the second question is uh, the first term of a geometric progression is 81. The fourth term is 24. Roman 1, find the common ratio of the progression. Roman 2, the sum to infinity of the progression. These two are quite straightforward, especially the second part. Then there is another part. They say the second and third terms of this, and I've highlighted this because we are still considering this sequence because it's Roman numerals. These are follow-through questions. They are of the same question. Uh, the first and fourth terms, respectively, of another progression which happens to be arithmetic. It's quite really interesting. What you need to do is find the sum of the first ten terms of the arithmetic progression. Again, pause the video, attempt to solve the question. All right, so I hope you gave it a go. So let me just write down my key information. I know that uh, I have a geometric progression. The first term is 81. The fourth term is 24. And I know that the formula T sub n, the nth term, the rule, the, the formula for a GP is AR raised to the n minus 1 power. So we need to find the common ratio. So first term is A equals to 1. Then the fourth term of the GP, then I find this by getting AR raised to the power 5 4 minus 1 equals 24. So I'm going to take this one of 81 substituted into the second one. And that's going to give me something, obviously, that is um, a cube number, 8 over 27, because I need to get rid of that cube on my R by taking cube root of both sides. So my common ratio is 2 over 3. So when your common ratio is 2 over 3, then obviously when you are now 
finding the sum to infinity, it means that as you go along with this progression, obviously it's a convergence series. It, it tends to get closer and closer as you add all those terms together. It gets closer and closer to a number. And the question is asking, what is that number? All right, so the formula for sum to infinity is A over 1 minus R. So we know what A is. A is 81. We now know what is our R. Therefore, our sum to infinity is 243. Right, so the third part of that question, again, I'm going to write down or bring my information as I have them. And now for the GP, A is 81 and R is 2 over 3. And let me just go ahead then and maybe for that GP, get the other terms. The first term is 81. So the second term you get by multiplying that by the common ratio, which is 54. Multiply that by the common ratio gives you 36. So I just need the first three terms because I need term 2, term 1, which is um, the information that is required, because it says these sequence, the 81, 54, 36, this sequence are the first and fourth terms of an arithmetic progression. Okay, so it's quite important that you have that information. So in my arithmetic progression, my first term will be 54. It is the second term of this GP is the first term is going to be 54 of the AP. And the fourth term of the AP is equal to the, got it, third term of the GP. Okay, hence I wrote it down like that. So this summarize to A is equal to 54 and A plus 3D is equal to 36. This is now the arithmetic progression that I am now supposed to find the first 10 terms of. Okay, so first here is a little bit of an issue. I need to find my D, which is my common difference. And when you do that, you should get that D equals to nothing but negative 6. Now that you have your common difference, you are going to substitute and use your S sub N, the sum, because you're looking for the total, the sum, as you add the terms of this AP. All right, so you just go ahead and substitute in the AP. The first term is 54. The common difference is negative 6, as you have seen. We calculated. You punch this in on your calculator. You should not have a problem to get 270. Some go for mathematics. 